We bought a house. We bought a house. Again. As expected, the moving process has been crazy. So in this video, you're gonna see a little bit of everything, some of our moves, some of our goodbye, and a lot of cleaning and unpacking. If you just want some cleaning motivation, you can go ahead and skip towards the end of the video. Awesome on the closing. So we're back to our current house right now and I'm gonna load up our van so that way as soon as they are out they're gonna text us and we can start taking over our stuff to the new house. And I'm trying to decide what to pack first. Probably the kitchen. Um, we're just bringing all the fragile stuff over today um, while we have time before our movers come tomorrow. And we're here. The tour video will be up at this point if you guys haven't, go check that out. A little bit of a fast paced video for you guys, but this was a fast paced and long weekend at the same time. We moved over the course of about three days. This was our first unpacking load. We tried to bring over all of our fragile stuff. And then the next day was basically just directing people. And then we had a follow up day of all of the things that we left at the house and then cleaning the house before we left. Okay guys, it has been a long moving day one, but we're just taking in some more stuff now. This is probably our third or fourth load of van stuff, the fragiles. And we stopped and talked to our neighbor for a while and we're just getting really excited. There's something about just standing here at the top of the stairs that just makes me feel so happy and excited. Just feels like this is where our family should be. I don't know. I wanna change the chandelier and the door color and the wall color, but it just feels like home sure. and there's my home. Oh. Like, who are you talking to? <laughs> the neighbors. Morning number two. Trying to make sure everything is taped up for the movers. Got the rest of the boxes. Got to fold that back up. And I'm about to take apart the bed today just so they have less time here. Just want to stop and say hey if you are new and you like cleaning videos or room makeovers consider subscribing because i have a lot coming your way and if you guys could like this video that helps out my channel so much so i can keep making videos like this if you've been around for a while and you've been with us on this whole journey of working on this house and doing all these projects i'd love to hear from you down below what were some of your favorites or what are you looking forward to us trying out in the new house i've got some ideas but i am always looking for more and you guys seem to have some of the best ones Day two of the moving process. We did not film too much of everything coming in here just because we were directing traffic, but almost all of our stuff is in now. We just have the crazy game of reassembling and organizing, and I don't even know where to start. We still have a few more things at the old house to pick up. Here's a little bit of what we're dealing with right now. And then we've got a few rooms upstairs that are empty because we didn't have like guest room before. So that's nice, a little less work, but we still have to go stop back by the old house now and we left some stuff in different closets that we have to get out. But the movers were awesome. They were able to work pretty quickly because they were only here until like two. They also were able to move this play set and the crazy part is they, they took it apart in like three pieces and they lifted it over our fence to get it back in there. So one thing I figured out that I didn't know we had is like this deli drawer. Look at that. You can choose like what temperature you want this drawer specifically. 
How fancy is that? Time has finally come. We just finished cleaning up everything here. We're ready to say goodbye to this house. I still have a video from when we walked into this house, totally different door, and it looked very different than this. We talked about all the things we wanted to paint bright and white, and we did it, and now we're leaving. I show you guys the empty house before we head out. All done, ready for somebody else now. Do one last run through of the upstairs, and oh no, I almost left my Dawn Power wash. I can never. I mean, we're very, very happy and excited about our new house, but it's obviously sad to say bye to something that you put so much work into. I just hope it's enjoyed and taken care of. Okay guys, no idea where I left off today. It's the first full day of living in our house. I'm about to tackle the kitchen because we need this to be functional. I don't know, right now my goal is to just put everything away and then I think later when we work on the kitchen, that's the first big, big project that we wanna do is working on the kitchen. I'll go back through and actually fully put things where we want them to live forever, if that makes sense. The interesting thing about this kitchen that is new for us is we have so many drawers, which I love. And then with all of our cabinets, watch out, with all of our cabinets, everyone has a pull out thing, which I think is really nice. I need to go through and clean them before I put these away because they're not really that clean. Um, that's nice, but it's also interesting because a few of our larger items, I don't know if they have like a spot in here just because every single cabinet that's in here is a pull out. I already put some stuff in this cabinet. This is for the girls so they can come and grab their own snacks. They already have filled up our fridge already and I did the same for them in here. They can just come into this lower drawer and I made them like a snack zone to pull from. So they got yogurts, cheese, fruits. There'll probably be a fridge organization video coming up as well. I brought my stuff over from the last house, like my bins, but I haven't had the time to even think about it. And then also the pantry. I put the stuff in here, but I really haven't had too much time to think about it. This is day two, guys. We just need to get this stuff put away so we can start living. I wanna do a deep clean of the counters and then wipe it inside of the cabinets. brought me to the bathroom, not the bathroom, the laundry room. So I'm keeping all of my like general kind of household cleaners and then my laundry stuff and the rest of the cleaners, except for the soap, like dish soap, all that stuff under the sink, more of the safe stuff under the sink. 
And then my other kinds of cleaners will be up here. As you can see, I had to do a lot of playing around when it came to finding spots for things in the kitchen. It seemed like organizing it would be pretty simple, but I think I'm gonna have to stop and put some more thought into it just because some of the pots stacked up don't fit on the pullout drawers. They are nice and convenient, but I need to look into the best way to organize them. And for that, I'm gonna need some research. So for now, just putting everything in a place um, and getting used to it before we go back and figure out what exactly works best for us. And then to wipe down the drawers and disinfect them, I'm using my Fabuloso that I've got diluted in an old Windex bottle. Always like to mention it because it looks kind of weird, but it works. <music> So as I'm recording this, we're about a week into using our kitchen and I'm really happy to report that the, and I'll do a little tour at the end, but the things that I put down low for the girls have been working out so well for them. They have been doing really well getting their own bowls and they get their own snacks out and it's crazy to watch them. They seem so much older just in this last week because they know how to get everything around for themselves. So that's just cool to see. And then the rest of the kitchen, I haven't had too many run-ins with, oh, I don't really like this here. Just a few like mental adjustments because we put plates in a different spot than where they were in our last house. You know, just random things that come along with the move. The kitchen counters here right now are a laminate and they're white and bright, which I like, but we are planning on changing them up soon. To clean these off, I'm using my Dawn Power Wash and my Scrub Daddy. I bought some stainless steel wipes to try out on the fridge soon too, but for now, just the classics. Okay guys, camera died on me there at the end, but here she is, the final cleaned up kitchen, at least for now. I love these chairs, I got them on a Memorial Day sale. And then of course the last thing I put down here was one of my ruggable rugs. This is um, washable, so you just peel that off and throw it in the wash, so I don't ever worry about it here in the kitchen. Of course, I have to show you the reality of the kitchen. By the next morning, this floor was covered in little bits of couscous, snacks, and I think I even see some breakfast in there. So it's time to bust out my little buddy. I've been talking about this for months now for surprise messes like this or even my slow carpet vacuuming that I've been doing. I love my Evolve Pet cordless upright vacuum from Hoover. So much so that Hoover is actually sponsoring this video, which is awesome. Thank you, Hoover. I've been showing you all how much suction power this little guy has for months, but I am always happy to talk about it more. Um, this thing is so lightweight. It's only nine, it's less than nine pounds. So I get to save my arms for lifting the boxes and the babies. So it's great for these quick cleanups, but it's my go-to for deep cleans as well. All right, I finally got my trusty friend back. I left this at the old house to finish up there when we were done because it leaves some really good carpet lines. My favorite little light, light vacuum that we have. So now I'm gonna clear out this little landing hallway we have upstairs. We've been using these boxes because our baby gate wasn't in yet as like a gate for the girls. So 
We're gonna put the baby gate in tonight. I can clear this out. I'm gonna give it a good vacuum because we've been doing a lot of walking. The movers came and went through here. Our bedroom's still a little bit of a mess. We don't have much to go in here right now because we ended up putting some of that in the dining room. Anyways, I'm just gonna give it a good vacuum through here, show you guys why I love this so much. It has such a strong suction for being so little and lightweight, and I love that it's cordless. I just take it anywhere in the house. Look at that beautifulness. There are several boxes that we've had here for the past few days. I just cleared them out this morning. So I'm gonna vacuum over the rug as well and just show you guys how easily it can handle this rug. This is one of our fluffiest shag rugs and this is the only cordless vacuum that we've ever had that could handle it. Like I said, I've been using this, I think since back in January, so all year now, and I've shown you several times in my videos just how well this does. This is a clip from my last video when I had vacuumed previously in the day and then I went back and did a slow vacuum using this Evolve Pet Vac and I will show you the results here. Look at that, look how much dirt. I don't think you can see in here very well. This dirt is up to here. That is gross. I don't know if I'm impressed with the vacuum or grossed out. I feel like that looks so much cleaner and so much better. And remember, I had vacuumed this a couple hours before. If you wanna try out this vacuum or really any Hoover products, I love them. We have several in our home that I use daily. I will put a link down in the description below. Right now I'm cleaning this area up so we can run the vacuum over it and I will continue to keep you updated on the vacuum. But yeah, check out the link down below and thanks again to Hoover for sponsoring this video. If you really wanna see more about the vacuum, you can go through some of my last deep cleans too and just watch. I like to show how much it really picks up because it is just, it feels like so much more than our other vacuums. Welcome back to day four. So we have the dining area cleaned up now. Let me see if I can. We have the kitchen area cleaned up now. We're about to have my parents over to grill out for Father's Day. I ended up cleaning this area up a little bit too. But don't ask about <laughs> this dining room or any of the other rooms. outside for a little bit because it was such a nice day. I have been dying to use this power washer that I got on Amazon since we saw this house for the first time. The porch just had some little green sections you can see here that I wanted to go over so bad. So that's what I did. It was a little bit more exhausting than I was expecting. So I kind of had to take a break at the end and didn't get, I would say everything done, but it is so much cleaner than it looks. I will link any products that you guys see in this video down below if you wanna check it out. If you have more questions, leave them in the comments. But I was really surprised at how great this um, just plug-in power washer did. It had some amazing reviews on Amazon too, so I got it on a really good deal. Like I said, I tried to film all of the randomness that goes along with moving. There's so many little things that you have to do you don't think about. Hanging curtain rods, assembling things, there's so many things that add up. Feels like it's all over the place. That's because our life is right now. This is the girls' first night at the house and I have been dying to assemble this table. Slowly working on rooms. Each room is gonna be like its own full makeover. So right now we're just trying to get our stuff in and then assess the situation.
time to address this chocolate fireplace. I love chocolate in general, just didn't really want it here. So I talked about going through each room of our house and we're gonna do a makeover as we go. I have some really cool ideas for this um, living room, but for right now, this brown color was kind of just throwing me off in general. I don't know why it was different than the trim. Somebody else had painted it this brown color. But um, just to do a band-aid fix on it, I wanted to go back over it in white and match it with the trim color that's in the rest of the house. I only got in a couple coats this day, but I will show you that it's already looking a lot better. For the first coat, I used the Zinzer 123 primer, and then for the top coat, I used the paint that they had left in the garage that is um, that matches the trim that's already in the house. So this actually needs probably one more coat and then we want to paint the area around the fireplace as you can see it's not perfect there but I ended up having to stop for the day so I just want to show you where we left off already looking so much better I like that it just matches with the trim I don't know why it was different than it was before someone had painted it that brown color Thank you guys for coming along for the journey, even though it has been a crazy one. If you missed the whole empty house tour, it's linked down below so you can see what projects are coming up. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon, and as always, happy cleaning. Bye.